What's up guys? Chigs there from Chigs Tech Reviews. So today I've got my hands on the world's smallest 4K mini PC. So this is the Chewy Lark Box people. Just take a look at the size of this unit. It literally fits in the palm of my hands. Now let's talk about the power. This box is powered by the Intel Celeron J4115 quad-core CPU, along with Intel Ultra HD 600 graphics. You've got six gigs of LPDDR4 RAM, along with a 128 gigabyte drive. Now you've also got a micro SD card slot, dual band Wi-Fi AC, gigabit LAN. You've got Bluetooth version five, USB three, Windows 10 home licensed, activated and ready to use. Now this also supports HDMI version 2.0 and supports 4K at 60 frames per second. Now, quick look at what you get inside the box. So you're getting a cardboard pouch and when you open it, you'll actually find a metal mount so you can mount the mini PC to the back of your television. Now you have here a power cable and a power brick. And you'll notice it's actually a USB type C power brick. Output 12 volts, two amps. So yeah, here it is in my hands. We've got a matte black finish, lots of ventilation going all the way around. Now on the front, we have a physical power button. On the side, we have a micro SD card slot and a headphone jack. If we keep going on the back, you will see your power socket and it's USB type C, two USB three ports and your HDMI out, and it does support HDMI 2.0. If we keep going, there's nothing on this side and that will bring you back to the front of the unit. And this is what the bottom of the box looks like. So you basically, Place that on top and then you'll be able to mount this to the back of your television or monitor. So this mini PC is upgradable. You have a spare M2 SSD slot supporting up to one terabyte. So this box is absolutely tiny in size. And I just want to quickly bring in an Android TV box just to show you the difference in size. Look at that, people. Look how small the Chewy Luck Box Mini actually is. So I also want to place this right next to my Mac Mini just to show you that this is the world's smallest 4K mini PC running full Windows 10 home. All right, screwdrivers ready. We're gonna check out the internals. I am excited to see what the internals look like because this is a tiny, tiny mini PC. So four screws on the back. Okay, so with the four screws off, you should be able to just open up that lid. And here is your spare M2 SSD slot, which supports up to one terabyte capacity. So very easy way to add more storage to this tiny mini PC. I'm gonna open these four screws and get a closer look at the system. So lift off this inner plate. So we're gonna open up four more screws, four more inner screws. So here is the first part of the board. You can see the micro SD card slot, the USB ports, headphone jack, and the M2 SSD. So if we put that to the side, and here you can see the internals, and I do feel compelled to keep going. I wanna see what sort of heat sink we have. So four more bolt type screws. Okay, so I can already feel so I can already feel the whole case is ready to come off now. So let's do this carefully. Okay, so I'm absolutely loving the construction of this. It's uh, very unique. So take a look at that, people. Try and lift this off carefully. Over here, you have the RAM and internal storage soldered onto the board, and you've got your CPU in the middle. Now, I am going to try and get under this. So open four more screws. Okay, so carefully lift up the copper plate. And look at that people, quick close up of that. Nice. The design on how they put this together is very, very cool. So I'm just gonna put this back on now. Okay, so you've seen the heat sink. 
We've got soldered on internal storage and RAM. And then you've got a spare M2 SSD slot at the top, which supports up to one terabyte. So awesome stuff. Now let's try and put this back together in one piece. Absolutely love the design construction of this, how they made this so uniquely small. Let's put this on first. Okay, that's done. HDMI ports matched up. Now the first, close these bolts. So the longer bolts go in first. Very nice and easy to assemble. Okay, so that's secure. We're gonna put the other board on now. So all we've gotta do is match them up to the USB ports on this side. So here we go. Perfect. We've got two small connectors that do need to be connected up. So if I just push them down and make sure they're seated properly. Awesome stuff. And let's close up the remainder four bolts. Okay. Next up, putting this on top. Four more screws. And the final lid goes on top with four more screws. So you've seen the internals. I am now gonna hook this up to my 4K monitor and capture card. And we're gonna find out exactly what this little box is capable of. I'll be right back. So first of all, I ran a boot up speed test and this mini PC took 31 seconds to fully load Windows to its desktop. Now here is your full Windows 10 home desktop. So first of all, let's take a look at system properties. So as you can see, we have the Intel Celeron J4115 with six gigs of RAM, and you have the 64-bit version of Windows 10 Home activated and ready to use. Now moving on to the system storage info, we have 128 gigabytes of internal storage, from which 117 gigs are usable, and from that we have 81.5 gigs free to use. And you can also see my 128 gigabyte flash drive connected up. So this is the full version of Windows 10 Home. It comes with all the usual Windows apps you would expect, including the Windows App Store. So you can go ahead and download all your favorite apps and games. So this is basically a full PC experience in a super compact size. And the system is powerful enough to run all your regular Windows applications, including Microsoft Office, Word, Excel, and you can play quite a few games from the Windows Store, including Modern Combat 5 and Asphalt 9. So this mini PC supports 4K, so let's go ahead and play some 4K video samples from a USB drive and see how it performs. So unfortunately, playing 4K at 60 frames per second from a USB drive struggled and looked quite laggy. Now when I tested 4K at 30 frames per second, the experience was much better, nice and smooth, with no lag at all. So moving on to some 4K video streaming on YouTube. Now 4K at 60 frames per second is the maximum supported resolution. Let's see how it plays. Now I am quite pleased to see that YouTube streams very well at 4K 60 with no buffering or stuttering issues, just smooth 4K playback. So next up we're going to be checking out Netflix streaming and after a few minutes of streaming the test patterns it told me that Netflix supports a maximum of 1080p and the same applies to Amazon Prime Video. I was able to stream a maximum resolution of 1080p. So now I'm going to test out briefly the multitasking capabilities of this mini PC. I will open up a whole bunch of applications and games all at the same time and we will see how the system copes. So as you can see I have lots of stuff open, you can hear it all playing in the background and the system is handling it quite well. I don't feel very much lag or slow down and I have many different softwares open at the same time including two games. So we do have quite a decent performance from this little mini PC with quite good multitasking capabilities. 
So moving on to the gaming test, starting off with some Asphalt 9. Now when playing on the highest graphical settings, the game is laggy and not very playable. However, if you drop the graphics down to a lower setting, then it becomes a more enjoyable experience. So overall, this mini PC with Intel HD graphics is not really designed for gaming, but you can get away with playing games on low settings and basic games like Candy Crush play absolutely fine. Delicious. Now this smallest 4K mini PC is also capable of playing AAA gaming titles with Google Stadia. So I have just opened up Google Chrome, signed into my Stadia and also my Stadia game controller linked wirelessly with ease and now I am able to play all my Stadia games in its full glory. However, please do note as we are connected via Wi-Fi only and there is no Ethernet port, you're not going to get the very best Stadia quality. But nevertheless, Stadia game streaming works very well and is very enjoyable on this mini PC. Now in the Wi-Fi speed test we achieved download speeds of 53 and upload speeds of 18 megabits per second and my current broadband speed is a maximum of 55 megabits per second. Now anti 2 benchmarks are no longer available on Windows so instead we are looking at the CPU benchmark scores by Passmark Software and as you can see this new Chewy box has scored 2919. So let's see how this compares to the others. So here is my top performing mini PC chart for 2020, allowing you to compare the specs and prices of all the latest models. And as you can see, the Chewy Mini has taken position one with a CPU pass mark score of 2919. So whilst using the box, I did notice the fan switch itself on and off occasionally. So I think it's a good idea to test that fan noise level. So here is my sound meter and my sound meter picked up around 36 to 37 decibels of fan noise from roughly a one meter distance. And from close proximity to the box, the fan noise will be around 41 to 42 decibels. So yes, you are certainly going to hear the fan noise. So there you have it guys, that was the new Chewy Mini Lark Box. And here are my thoughts on this device. This is the world's smallest 4K Windows PC. I believe the price is around 169 US dollars. The box is great for streaming movies, playing basic games or even using it for your school, college or uni work and equally useful for general office tasks such as word processing, spreadsheets, checking emails and browsing the web and lots lots more. Now bottom line, an extremely versatile space saving full Windows 10 experience in a tiny form factor including 4K capabilities built-in dual-band Wi-Fi with Bluetooth and options to expand the internal storage with either microSD or M2 SSD drive up to one terabyte. And with that being said, I will leave the links in the description so you guys can check this product out. Meanwhile, thank you so much for watching and I hope you all have a brilliant day. I'll see you guys in the next one.